Hi there. Welcome to yet another quick how to open ERP tutorial with me, Moses Issa. In this section of our tutorial, we will look at how the leave management system works in open ERP. This tutorial has been split into two parts. Part one looks at the leave management system from the admin user's point of view. Part two will look at it from the ordinary user's point of view. To begin, let's log in as the admin user. We enter our signed URL, select the database, fill in your details over here, click login, go to human resources. On the left of our screen is a list. Right at the bottom of the list, select configuration, select holidays, select leave type. And here we can view the list of already defined leave types. Say we want to create a new leave type. Click new. Type in the name of the new leave type. Select the color. This for reporting purposes. Meeting over here. If assigned, will enable Open ERP to create a meeting in a calendar once a leave is validated so let's not worry about it for now under validation if we tick the checkbox by double by apply double validation this feature will allow or will require the leave to be validated two times this is a very important feature to apply for organizations that also staff members and therefore require uh, the line managers um, to approve the leave before the employee takes it. So we shall tick that. The allow to override limit over here is a feature that allows um, the, the users to take more leave days than allocated. Uh, say if the assigned number of sick days was to be five, and the user happens to be sick for more than five days. This feature, if ticked, will enable the user to take more than five days, say six, seven, or eight days, depending on for how long they'll be sick. On the right over here, this section is for payroll configuration. This can be either configured based on paid holiday, unpaid, half day. So let's say it's going to be paid. Now we save and if we go to search view, we are able to see Labor Day has been added on our list. Now let's go to Holidays, Allocation Requests. Over here we will be able to allocate the leave requests. Already we can see the list of um, leave requests that have been allocated. But let's say we want to allocate a new leave request. Go to new. We enter a description. Allocation type can either be by employee or by employee category. So let's select employee category. Then select the category from the list of already defined categories. Select that and then we select the leave type. We assign the number of days. We confirm that. We approve it. We approve again since we allowed double validation. We save. Go to search view and here we're able to see the newly defined allocation. Now we go to leave requests. Here the administrative user will be able to apply for leave on behalf of the system users. Thus if they are unable to get access to the system to apply for leave. This can be done say for 
an employee that's ill and is not able to access the system. To do this, we go to new, enter in the leaf type, here we select by employee, we select a specific employee. Let's take Fabian. Select the leaf type. Set to sick leaf. Select the date. Select the end date. Confirm. Save and edit. Approve. Save. Go to search view. If we click on clear, yes, over here we are able to see if Fabian has been given two days off a sick leave. Now, if we click on leave summary, here we are able to view an, an overview of all the leave of days that have been taken or assigned. If we click on clear, we are able to see a more detailed list. This brings us to the end of our leave management system with OpenERP. Thank you for watching and goodbye.